Aha! Hello, a very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the one-stop broadcaster, and we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. That's the big one. The one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. The word on everyone's lips right now is Facebook Live. Scotty McClue, live with you, saying dinky-doo to every single one of you right round the world, right across the globe. Excellent to have you with us. Dinky doo Lord, says Robert Devlin. Good evening to you, Robert, and dinky doo to you, I say. Evening Scotty, says Carl Scattergood. Dinky doo, Carl, lovely to have you with us. Drew McKenzie, William Renfrew, Ian Pugh, Neil Holgate. Hi, old man. Hi, old man. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky doo, of course. Spread the what? Tell ten, tell ten, tell ten, tell ten about Scotty McClue. Broadcasting live on Facebook Live, just for you, and saying dinky doo. Gordon Sterling there. Martin Park, Angie Thompson, Stephen Rodriguez, Mark Simpson. I'm just getting a black screen. Right, good for you. I don't know anything about that. I'm getting you loud and clear. Neil O'Gormley, Lynn K. Hey, up, says Richard C. Bauer. Hey, up, Richard. Dinky do to you, I say. Now, folks, we've only got one hour, one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment for not just one grateful nation, but every nation throughout the world, across the globe. Gordon Macri, Gordon Ritchie, I'm 34 the day, says Neil Holgate. Excellent, Neil. I was 34 a wee while ago, so we're not uh, far away in ages. Happy New Year, Scotty, and dinky do. Hi, Scotty, from Dublin. Hello, lovely to have you with us in Dublin, and dinky do to every single one of you, I say. It's tremendous to be back. I hope you've had a wonderful New Year. We were with you live on Hogmanay for the Scotty McClue Hogmanay Band. So you'll see me in my maroon jumper for maroon shoulders and uh, you can have a watch at that. It's in two pieces. So you've got part one and part two of Scotty McClue's Hogmanay Bash and that's for your edification and delight any time you like. Also, if you want to go one week back, you'll get the Christmas show live as well. You'll see me in my red jumper and Santa hat and that's been very successful. You'll see that on the Facebook live video alone. Almost 12,000 people have had a swatch at that. Dinky do. Good evening, my friends. This is Joseph Gibbons. Dinky do. Dodgson is with us, one of the country's great broadcasters. Lovely to hear from you, John. Thanks very much for all your support, and I hope everything's going well at Great Yorkshire Radio, one of the country's top radio stations. If you're ever seeking or searching around for a real good radio station, Great Yorkshire Radio. At Great Yorkshire Radio, on uh, Twitter and uh, www.greatyorkshireradio.co.uk, all one URL. Derek Hampton's there. Say hi to the wife, Tracy, says James Adamson. Hi to Mrs. Adamson, Tracy. Yes, we've only just been introduced by James, so we'll say hi and dinky do from me, Scotty McClue, and everybody else around the globe. Um, nice shot and tie, Scotty. Thank you. We do like to make an effort and try and be a little bit smart. I think it's very, very important. George McLashan. Um, Robert Bean says, I'm the country's great bro greatest broadcaster and I'll fight anyone who challenges me. Well done, Robert. Right, let's hear you. Let's tell us when your next Facebook show is and we'll all tune in and make a decision there. Scotty, you familiar with the band Toto? Of course I am, Joseph. Yes, absolutely. I'm familiar with many, many, many bands. They all used to come into the radio stations and we would have a chat. Fantastic stuff. And uh, an old friend of mine many, many years ago, he was in broadcasting and he was in his studio and three young guys came in and asked if, uh, three or four young guys came in and asked if they could um, sit in with him because they were waiting to be interviewed, and they sat in doodly. It was the Rolling Stones. What about that? Uh, Stephen Stewart, you think you do? Lovely to have you with us. So, uh, yes is the answer. Hello, and think you do, says Brian Keswick. Now, what I thought we'd do tonight, guys, uh, we can have a discussion about all sorts of things. So if you'd like to discuss something, pop your subject up and uh, we'll get going. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're, of course, live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about. And this is the World Stop Broadcaster broadcasting live right now. I'm off to see them in Glasgow in April, says Joseph. Good, 
You will enjoy that. Toto in Glasgow in April. Are you a Beatles fan, says Gordon Ritchie? Gordon, what a strange question to ask Scotty McClue, a man who has broadcast to Liverpool on many an occasion. So there you are. Every single night, we boomed out across the Mersey. So I think uh, at one point there was a discussion, is Scotty McClue bigger than the Beatles? So there you are. That just shows you how much of a Beatles fan I am. Because I said, no, no, I think the Beatles have the edge on it. So there we are. Uh, Scotty, can you give my old Edinburgh bus seat business a wee plug? There must be a few listeners in the man cave right now listening to the World Stop Broadcaster. Gordon Sterling, bit of a gent, right? And um, he does everything this guy. He's a, like McClue, he's a polymath, polymath. And he can do many, many things. He plays the bagpipes. He's also familiar with uh, the motor trade. He's very, very good on uh, heavy oil engines. So there you go. And he's a great bus man. He, uh, I believe, is um, a PSV driver and drives the red buses. What have you, the old route masters. They're the ones you could jump on at the back. You can't do that now. You can't uh, jump on after the bus has moved. Radio Merseyside, says Joseph. Well, it was Radio City when I was broadcasting. So there you are. Radio City. Um, so, yes, now, uh, I was talking about Gordon Sterling. Yes, Gordon also um, has a, a little business um, refurbishing bus seating. Now, if you think about it, this is rather a novelty item to have a bus seat in your house or in your garden shed or your, in your attic. You can go screw them down to the floor or put them on a base and uh, it's quite a cool thing to have to sit in a bus seat because a lot of them would be designed in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, that sort of thing. And uh, he, he's got them refurbished, the beautiful red, the, the red bus seats. And um, of course, a lot of them were in lodges. Lucy May, come and say Dinky Doo to Scotty, says Richard C. Barr. Lucy May, come on, come and say Dinky Doo to Scotty. Um, Brendan, says Jim Jasmine Anderson. Evening, Scotty, says Jim Clark. Evening, Jim Clark. I hope all is well with you and that you are Dinky Doo. Now, uh, just to let you know, well over 60,000 of you watched Scotty McClure's shenanigans and antics over the festive season. Isn't that marvellous? That's just the Facebook lot. So there you go. Good evening, Mr. McClure. So Jim Wilson. Hello, Jim. How are you? Lovely to have you with us. John Cummings watching. Come on and have a dinky do, John Cumming. Good evening, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Lovely, lovely. Robert G. J. Maguire Jr. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Robert G. J. Maguire Jr. And um, Robert G.J. G. Maguire Jr. Hello from Castle Milk, the Chateau. Ole out there. Ole will say to you. And hola, if we are Spanish as well, out at the Castellamilco. Lovely to, uh, to hear from you out there. And uh, love to Castle Milk and to all the people living out that way. Von way. So there you are. Uh, Kenny Niven's watching. Dinky do, Kenny. Lovely to have you with us now tonight. I thought we might also try a call. Okay, now please, I do beg of you, behave yourselves. Because we once had a rude boy. He swore it ruined the broadcast for everybody. We've never taken a call since. So there you are. So try and not do that. Um, but I thought we'd try and take a call tonight on Messenger. So if you're on Messenger and you'd like to, to try it. Now, I'm not saying it'll work. But what I am saying is we could try it. So there you go. And uh, if you want to do that, that would be absolutely fabulous. Uh, what about Mr. Fox? Has he been back since Angie? I saw him the other night running, running as if his life depended on it. And I gave him a quick... Mm, and he stopped and sat down. And I said to him, you don't need to run away. There is no danger. Uh, rose up to Scotland last year, Scotty. The Queen's View near Pitlochry. It's beautiful. The Queen's View over... Loch Tummel, where Queen Victoria stopped and had a look over Loch Tummel. You're quite right. Very, very lovely and very, very beautiful. But of course, places like Yorkshire have got gorgeous views. Mm. When I lived in Yorkshire, the views out my window were stunning. I lived out near Home Firth. East Kilbride Taxi Owners Association, Jim and Sandra say hello, Dinky Doo, James Bauer. Dinky Doo to you. Uh, a great show on New Year's Eve, Scotty's and Steve Burrows. Charles McLaughlin's watching. Lovely to hear from you, Charles. Happy New Year. Thank you for all your wonderful support. 
very very much appreciated and uh, would you ever do the radio phone in again says robert gg mcguire jr yes of course i would robert i'd be delighted the only thing is look at radio now right it's um all gone very very mild it's jukebox really and uh, they don't go for personalities they don't go for chit chat do you know many of the people on the radio these days? Do you know their names? Are you familiar with them? Do you hear their chat? Are you entertained by them? Are you informed? Are you educated by them? Um, do you like hearing them tell you about their music and what have you? You don't get any of that now. It's just a few songs in a row. We guy popping them into a computer, occasionally popping up saying, Hi, it's Mark here. Now it's time for another song. All that sort of stuff. And, you know, that's radio. Um, but things are a changing. There are new people moving into the market. There are digital stations coming on. And uh, there will be a talk station, and McClue will be on it. So there you are. Uh, I used to enjoy the radio phone in did, Scott. He says, Richard C. Power. Yes, they were tremendous. I'm afraid I'll need to catch up with you. It's my bedtime story for tonight. Roll out soon. Dinky doo, dinky doo. Of course, the very best phone ends. Nothing's come close since, Scotty. Well, no, because we had pure communication. It was you and I. Have you noticed radio stations sometimes stick couples on in the breakfast show? And I think, big, big, big mistake. Because the audience have just gone, oh, well, you two carry on having your chat. And we'll, uh, you know, we'll do a wee bit of listening. But it's not really for us. Whereas you think the likes of the late great Sir Terry Wogan in the morning, Terence, Terence Wogan, and um, on in the morning, chatting with you. The lovely Vicky Navarro's watching Dinky Do Vicky. Lovely to have you with us. Please give that lovely, lovely man of yours a huge big hug. One of the finest broadcasters in the country, Kev Seed. And that's his missus on there. Tremendous stuff. Even Scotty says Harry Marshall Sr. Uh, the very best phone-ins, nothing came close. What about being the new Brucey on TV, says Mark? Absolutely, yes. You need a slightly more mature approach to TV. Do you know what I was thinking tonight? Just before the programme started, I thought to myself, do you know, all of television is noise, loud noise. They're putting volume in, in place of entertainment place of talent somebody's screaming and shouting at each other and some of them scream and shout to such an extent that you can't hear it they go ladies and gentlemen give it up for Faraday! you think what did you just say there i didn't hear you right uh, margaret bryce is watching bernie martin eric bastian gary Porton. there we are we don't have a theater tour on a couple of shows an audience with scotty McClure, a sellout says james brown now james that's a big possibility so if anybody's watching that runs a theater or whatever and you want to do an audience with scotty McClure, feel free to give us a shout and we will chit chat scotty you should do i'm a celebrity get me out of here yes it's very much i'm a celebrity get me in here these days i think uh carl carlos donnelly is watching dinky do carl carlos donnelly lovely to have you with us thank you for your kind comments did you all like the little promo this morning have you seen that on scotty McClure's facebook live page uh very very interesting we did a live promo this morning from outside and believe it or not the sun was beautifully bright but it was so bright, I couldn't see the screen. So you watch it, I'm also I'm shading my eyes and not looking at you and what have you. It's very, very interesting. A lot of fun, though. Uh, so there we go. Uh, I will PM you, says James Bauer. Do, James, and let us know what is what. What's the topic tonight, says Alan Miller. Well, we're just getting back into the swing, Alan. So we're letting the audience choose the topic tonight, what they want to discuss and we will discuss it. As you know, McClue doesn't need computers or anything like that. He can discuss things off the top of his head. Alex Hall's watching. Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Yo, Scotty. How are you, says Carl Carlos Donnelly? I am Dinky Doo, Carl Carlos Donnelly. And lovely to have you with us. So there you are. Yes, do PM us, James Bauer. <coughs> Pardon me. Fantastic stuff. Now, Quick uh, appraisal for you guys. I shall just recapitulate and then we can tidy all that up. Um, now, what we had over the festive season was a few shows in the first week. 
So leading up to Christmas and the holidays, we did a few shows just to see what the numbers were like. The mornings, obviously, people are at their work and busying themselves. The evenings seem to do very, very well indeed. Uh, Christmas itself, um, we had uh, almost 12 people have watched the Christmas show, so that's absolutely fabulous. Thank you very, very much indeed for that. That is amazing. And uh, about 60,000 of you saw the whole shenanigans going on over the course of the week. Now, that's pretty good. I spoke to a friend of mine about it. I said, he said, how are your numbers doing, Scotty? Who's watching? I said, bearing in mind we are a Facebook Live video and there are millions and millions and millions of them, uh, you know, it's pretty good stuff. Barry Hawkins, good evening. Thank you, do, Scotty. Delighted to have found the video as a blind person. I totally agree with what you say about television, says Jack Scrimshaw. Do you know, I used to take my big, great, big black Labrador dog, Lord Reith, we called him. And I used to take him into the radio station every single night. He never missed a show. And uh, I can remember, and he would get up and he would sort of shake himself. Um, after I did the, the sort of uh, roundup at the end, he knew that was it. So as soon as the news jingle fired, Lord Reith would pick himself up and he'd shake his collar and he would get ready to go out for a W-A-L-K. I'm spelling it because I've got Clyde living with me, who's Lord Reith's successor. And Clyde understands if you mention the full word, so you've got to spell it. Those of you that have got dogs know exactly what I'm talking about here. How's things, Scotty, from Big Dez? Well, he cares what? Happy New Year, Scotty. Love the show from Stephen Burt McDowell. John Gatons is watching. Happy New Year, my friends, as well. Okay. James Brown's there. Gordon Sting. Serious discounts for McClue followers. Six seats for the price of five. So there you are. Excellent stuff. I don't know what price is a seat. I'm sure there's a wee bit room for negotiation. Maybe not too much. It's not my business, so I shan't say. But there we are. But uh, it'd be wonderful. I would love it if I had the space. I would love it. And a lot of these bus seats used to go into launches, little boats and stuff like that. You see, what's interesting, guys, they talk about a new runway for Heathrow. Should it have been Heathrow or Gatwick? Heathrow runways and how much trouble it's going to cause and all that. This country is surrounded by runways. What a lot of you won't know is in about 1952, the government quashed a fabulous project called the... Um, princess flying boat and we're surrounded by runways because we're an island we're surrounded by water you could land anywhere you could land on the firth of clyde you could land on the firth of fourth you could land on the tay uh, you could land on the murray firth you could land at all these places uh, if you had a flying boat and the princess flying boat was more than impressive look it up on youtube saunders row built her s-a-u-n-d-e-r-s Saunders hyphen R O E Row. Now Saunders Row is a, an amazing company with a fabulous history. They started off as launch builders, Sam Saunders from Streetly on uh, on the Thames. And uh, Streetly or Streetly, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. If you're from Streetly and Streetly and you're watching. Uh, well done on 69 shows, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Absolutely, this is show number 69, guys. Fantastic stuff. Have you heard about the round runways, Scotty? What next? Lol, says Carl Scattergood. But yes, so you could have landed the Saunders Row Princess. Look her up on YouTube. Saunders was Sam Saunders, a great friend of old Queen Mary and King George. And he moved his business to the Isle of Wight to cows on the Isle of Wight, which was very big on uh, boating and cruising and uh, anything to do with marine the, the marine trade, um, you know, because you had the Medina River there. So you had several shipyards down at Cowes. And the row was uh, Sir Elliot Verdon Row, R-O-E, of Avro, Avro Aircraft, the Avro Lancaster, and uh, all that sort of stuff. So there you are. Do you think health and safety has gone mad over the years? Scotty, I'm late. Scotty McClure, I got held up by SNPEU levers says Sandy Howden. Sandy, I've no doubt you managed to uh, get your way through that yourself because there wouldn't be too many of them. So there you are. Was it a meeting in the phone box? And uh, what have you. Uh, Jim Robin is watching Dinky Doo. Jim Robin out in Canada there. Dinky Doo to you. Very quiet here. Anyone want a taxi, says James Barrett. I just need a doctor 
to put in your flying boat, says Harry Marshall Sr. Absolutely, Harry. Excuse me a wee second, folks. Just having a they are, quick comfort break. Studio is very, very warm tonight. And, of course, with the big lights, uh, you tend to uh, to get a wee bit hot. I get the old boily face, uh, you know, what have you. So there you go. Um, but, yes, so Saunders Road. So look up on YouTube, the Princess Flying Boat. Not just now, because you're watching Scotty McClue. But the Princess Flying Boat. And you'll see what a fantastic project it was. But, of course, it was a bit big for the British government after the Second World War when everything was tight and they decided to quash it. Same as they did when they... Uh, they smashed up all the brand new um, aircraft up at uh, RAF Kinloss. Remember that? Remember they broke up the, um, what were they called now? Oh, they, they used to be comets and uh, then they'd converted them to RAF uh, aircraft. It'll come back to me. So there we go. Um, now then, Alistair Bajak's watching. Paul Crookshanks is watching. Thank you, do. Hi, Scotty. Nice to see you on Facebook. Keep up the good work. Loved listening to you on the radio many years ago. Stephen McMahon, absolutely. We're in our 26th year of the Scotty McClue broadcast. Is that amazing? People said it wouldn't last more than a couple of days. And it'll not last a couple of days, that boy going on like that. And here we are, 26 years on. Tremendous. Last year was the Silver Jubilee, 25 years of Scotty McClue. John Gattins, think you do, says Harry Marshall Sr. Nimrods has gone. They were indeed. They were the Nimrods. And of course, they became the Air Sea Rescue and RAF Nimrod is outcoming the area for survivors. Remember, you used to hear that. And before that, it was a Shackleton. A Shackleton from, from the RAF, uh, from RAF Lossiemouth, I think it was, or RAF Kinloss is outcoming the area for survivors, the Shackleton. And the Shackleton was a light bomber. And I think the Shackleton was an Avro and uh, based on the Lancaster. And they were flying up to Scotty McClure was a young man. So there you go. So just a, a few years ago. Good evening to all Dundee United fans from the Falkirk Bairn Scotty. Says Paul Crookshanks. Oh, Paul. Dinky do. I'd rather meddle with the deal than the Bairn of Falkirk. Touch in, touch all. So there we go. Matthew Brown's watching. Lovely to have you with us. 33% of the SNP voted to leave Scotty. Big phone box, if you don't mind me saying. Yes, but Sandy, of course. You, being a mathematician, will know then that 67% voted to remain. So there you go. Where are you yourself on that, Sandy? Because I know you tend to follow my leader all the time. But, uh, you know, I want to encourage you to use your own wonderful mind. You're a very clever man, Sandy. So there you are. Somebody said to me last week, Haha, you're not as daft as you look, McClure. I thought, well, that's a good job, isn't it? Bob Carroll's watching Dinky Doo, Philip Fife. Lovely to have you with us, guys. Now, what time are we at? My goodness, we're past share point. Can every single one of you share, 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 share right now? And if you can nip the uh, URL, right click on the URL at the top of the page you're watching Scotty McClue on, uh, copy that in and uh, copy and paste. You can all do that. And then if we type, 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 de type. I'm watching Scotty McClue, Dinky Doo, are you? Dinky Doo is D I N K Y hyphen capital D double O. So capital D I N K Y hyphen capital D double O. Scotty is S C O T T I E. Right? Uh, I'm a lever, Scotty. They should have given us reform when we asked. <coughs> now, Sandy, are you still a lever now that you've got the facts, or have you not got the facts? Because, um, you know, remember, if we do leave the EU, I think there'll be a soft Brexit, and I think what will happen is most of it just won't happen. I think that's what will happen. I think what will happen is that most of it won't happen. So there you go. But try and find out all these Brexiteers um, after it's happened, Sandy, and they'll have disappeared. You'll not be able to find them. Happy New Year, Scotty. All the very best, says Laird George Russell McFarlane. Everett Clifford is watching from America. Dinky do, Everett. So fantastic. Helen Wiley, dinky do. Uh, Scotty, our Prince William, and Harry, animal lovers. They are indeed big style, as far as I understand, Paul McCulley. Uh Scotty, can you give a shout out to anyone watching in Blair Gowrie? 
So there you are. Yes, Blair Gowrie and Rattray. If you're watching Scotty McClue, come on and say hi. Lovely part of the world up there, the old Blair Gowrie. Very nice. Great for raspberries, am I not right? Great for the berries. And Rattray, of course. Yes. Blair Gowrie and Rattray. A job with internet, Scotty. Sorry for being late, says Frank Crombie. No problem at all. Uh, Gordon Cruden, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us, Gordon. And you're up in Fraserburgh on the Broch, is that right? Jen Perrette's watching, Dinky Doo. David McLaughlin, Gordon Cruden, fit like. I fit like your son now. Uh, Fusha Doo's in eight day. Uh, no problem at all. There's a good kind of folk watching the Facebook right now. So that's good stuff as far as I am concerned. So uh, I hope you're enjoying the show and things are okay up at uh, Peterhead and the Brook. Marvellous stuff. Would you say you hate? Um, would you say you hate? No, I wouldn't say that. No, no, two famous comedians. No, I would never say that, Bob Carroll. And uh, Scotty, have you visited Scotland's best kept secret? Carol Scattergood, do you mean the Scotty McClue YouTube channel? I've visited that on a few occasions and I would urge everyone else to visit it. If you've got a pen and paper handy, get this down or type it into your Facebook, get it into your notes, www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one or one word. Evening Scotty, can you say hello to Phyllis? We've been married since I was 16 years old. We'll be married 40 years come Tuesday, the 9th of January. Charles McLaughlin, I would imagine you and Phyllis are a model couple. So there you go. Fantastic. 40 years of marriage. I met somebody who had been married for 21 years and he said he couldn't remember breaking three mirrors. Right, there we are. That's the one, Scotty. This is Carol Scattergood. Excellent. Hi there, everybody. This is Paul. Good year. Harry Marshall, happy anniversary, Charles. So there you are. Can we all say happy anniversary to that wonderful gentleman, Charles McLaughlin? 40 years married to Phyllis on January the 9th, which by my reckoning is tomorrow. Is that right? So there we go. Let me just check. Just check, check, checkity check. Uh, yes, it's over no, 7th. It's the 7th today. All right, 7th today, right. Okay. Uh, the ninth Tuesday. Uh, evening, Paul. Thanks for sharing, says Nick Prince. Excellent. Uh, Scotty, what's your view on bars changing the ingredients of Iron Brew? Well, we're reassured that there will be no change to the taste. So don't all go absolutely bananas. A lot of people have been bulk buying. And, uh, of course, fabulous stuff. AG Bar, wonderful, wonderful company. Uh, when I was working on Scott FM, the um here's here's how it went the main brands in scotland were bars iron brew uh radio clyde tannock scarmel wafers and scotty mcclue <coughs> <coughs> i do apologize i've had a touch of the lurgy as you all well know kirstine diggles watching the ninth tuesday says angie thompson battlefield dressed is watching Jav Salim. How you doing, my bro? Says Jav. I'm doing fine, my bro. Are you okay, my bro? Or Mavra, as we'd say in Gaelic. Um, so there we are. I saw advertising against animal cruelty, fox hunting. Paul McCulley. Good, right, Paul? We've got that. Lear George Russell McFarlane, 40 years. You get less for murder. You'd be out for good behavior by now. <laughs> Remember a guy says, I haven't spoken to the wife for 40 years. He says, I still love her very much. I just don't want to interrupt her. There you go. Bon Accord, says Harry Marshall Senior, the sweet lass of Bon Accord. So there we go. Angie Thompson, so uh, she's not a big soft drink fan. It depends. Wonderful stuff. But there you are. But we are reassured by, uh, by bars that there's going to be no change to the taste. I'll stick to a wee cup of tea. Mmm. Now, how are we doing time-wise? Time for a share again, folks. Half past nine. I can't believe it. Time flies when you're enjoying yourself. Share, 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 share. Hi, Scotty, says Kirsten Dougal. Dinky do, Kirsten. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet, broadcasting live on Facebook Live 
one of the world's top broadcast platforms. Dinky do, I say to every single one of you. And uh, just to explain to you, we've had well over 60,000 of you saw Scotty McClue's shenanigans over the festive season. Keep looking for it. There's the Hogmanay program is in two parts. They are Scotty McClue's Hogmanay Bash Part 1, Scotty McClue's Hogmanay Bash Part 2. You'll see the trailers for it. I've got my big outdoor coat and scarf on. <coughs> and this morning we did a trailer as well, just to let you know about tonight. Say hello to my pal Alfie. He's not well. He missed the last game at Tynecastle, says Sandy Howden. I say hello to Alfie, and I say hello to um, Sir George. So if Sir George White's watching from Clermeiston, dinky do to you, Sir George. We send you lots of love. I know you are Mr. Jambo. Really, Mr. Jambo? This is my story. This is my song. Alpine ginger was the juice of my youth. Or roller cola, 11 pence a bottle. Out of fine fare, <laughs> says Lord George Russell McFarland. I remember the Alpine ginger. Yes. Do you remember Garvey's from Mulgai? Jaggers from Greenock? Lawson's lemonade from Greenock? Tremendous stuff. What else did we have with the Alpine down south you got? Was it the Corona? And does anybody remember Cremola foam? Rab Bruce, tremendous. Lovely to have you with us. Gary Crossley's watching. And um, we have Tizer south of the border. So that's still owned by Bath. Yes, and what else did we have? What was Sarsaparillo? There we are. I used to hear people talking about Sarsaparillo. And um, what else did we have? Dandelion and Burdock. Excellent. Pineapple Crush. Orange Crush. Pineapple Aid. Orange Aid. Tremendous stuff. And you got uh, Orangina, did you not, at the pictures? And what was the one in the plastic carton? <coughs> it was very, very good as well. It was it was great fun. Uh, say hello to my wife, Joanna, says Gordon Cruden. Hello, Joanna. Hey, Joanna, fit like lass. Is that your queen there, Gordon? So there you are, Joanna. That's uh, Gordon's queenie uh, for uh, Peter Heed and the Broch. Uh, Robertson's Cola, very, very nice, of course. We thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, lemons in Dingwall, uh, Scotty, and Bon Accord, absolutely. Middlemas Lemonade in the Borders, does anybody remember that one? So there we are, that was a that was another one. Fantastic stuff, all these lemonade companies. So there we are. I'm still sell selling Garvey's. So there we are, 130 a bottle, says Jeff Sleem, fantastic. It was a superb lemonade out in Mulgai, was that right? Quenchy Cups in the Plastic Cups. <laughs> So there we go. Kyora at the cinema. That was it, Nick. Yes, the Kyora. So there you are. Wonderful stuff. You got the Kyora and the wee, uh, the plastic cup and the plastic straw. And you are absolutely over the moon. And you got the tub of ice cream at the pictures as well. Uh, a shout out to my girlfriend, Chelsea, please. This is Carol Carla Stanley. Hello, Chelsea. Dinky do from me, Scotty McClue, and everyone around the globe watching right now. This is the World's Top Talk Show, and we're live on Facebook Live, the World's Top Broadcast Platform. Welcome, 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 I say. <clears throat> Dinky do, Scotty, I'm here now. I've been a regular at the Western General, but I'm okay now, I hope. Cheers, Sandy, says Alfred James Wright. You can't beat a glass of Scottish water with elderflower. Says Harry Marshall Senior, absolutely. And do you remember ginger wine, ginger cordial? So there we are. What was the dandelion and burdock? I recall this from the early eighties. Fabulous taste, very very interesting. Anybody ever tasted root beer? So there you are. Um, ginger beer, Jamaican ginger beer, tremendous stuff. Hello from Liverpool. Hello to you, Dave Bradshaw. How are you all getting on down there? Lovely to have you with us. Woo! There you go. First question in a Liverpool pub quiz. Who are you looking at? There you go. Dandelion and Burdock. Yes, it was wonderful. Very, very popular in the uh, in the west of the country, of course. My grand made ginger wine, says Kirsty Dugo. Yes, and it kind of burned the back of your throat. It was quite sweet, but it was a wee bit on the hot side <coughs> with the ginger. <coughs> Root beer. Um, so there we go. It tasted like, <laughs> she mentions, a propriety ointment. Propriety ointment. I'm not happy. Um, uh, due to a family death, says Carl Carlos. 
Donnie, I'm sorry to hear that, Carl Carlos Donnie. And we send you love and blessings, and we send strength to you. Strength is important. Stephen Weirmouth, Lemonade Scotty. I remember my grandfather having an old bottle of malt. Uh, my mother put her glass next to his for a dram and was quickly told to get stuffed as she always added lemonade to whiskey. Ooh, tut, 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 a whiskey and lemonade. <laughs> uh, I remember somebody offering my father a malt whiskey and they said, would you, would you like water, Archie? And he said, no, 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 it's, it's weak enough. <laughs> so there you go. They didn't go in for the water. They, they, they sort of exploded. They went, oh, heavens, no. That was it. Uh, what about a licorice lorry? You had to put it in a dark cupboard to go black, says Sandy Howden. And uh, Nick Prince, I'm a Vimto man. That was the one. Vimto, a fruit drink. I was just thinking about Vimto there. Fantastic. If you've just joined us, folks, you're very welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the World Stop Broadcaster, first lord of the internet. And we are, of course, live on Facebook Live, the World Stop Broadcast Platform, saying dinky do to every single one of you. Thank you so much for joining Scotty McClue. Television cannot do this program. So there you are. If you want Scotty McClue on a wider audience, then the television companies need to come in and say, how much, Scotty, to buy you for half an hour on a Friday and Saturday night? Because we can see this being an absolute winner on our channel. Dinky do. Um, Vimto Man, I'll be watching you again, Scotty. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, says Nick Prince. Dinky do, Nick. All the very best to you. Uh, Jim Stephen Gibb, Dinky do to you. Who remembers? Tab was like cola. So there you are, says Paul McCulley. So there you go. I don't know what you're talking about there. Um, need to head to sleep. I never got my shout out, says Jonathan Scott Donegan. Jonathan Scott Donegan, consider yourself well and truly shouted out. So there you are. Uh, never mind the juice, Scotty. When are we getting freedom, says Sandy Howden. Very, very soon. It's not really freedom as such. It's really um, self-administration, Sandy. And we get to keep the money and people like you would benefit hugely so there you are rather than that bunch of rogues that you've been siding with all these years and my dad used to say there's no such thing as a bad pint there's only good ones and a better one so stephen Weymouth, absolutely well of course stephen you can't beat the brunel eh so there we are shout out to my nephew johnny morrison australia it's his 21st i took him up ben nevis says david mo morris johnny morris in australia Dinky do, you also bear a very famous name. So there we are. We had the Morris motor car, William Morris, and then um, I don't know. Do you remember Johnny Morris, Animal Magic? He used to do all the voices for the animals. Tremendous stuff. Happy New Year, Scotty. Dinky do, a weave tune from the squeeze and gob box before you leave the building. Ta-da! Says Jim Stephen Gibb. I shall. I'll give you a tune. Shout out for my brother Paddy in Paisley, a new listener tonight, Neil Gormley. And Paddy O'Gormley, Dinky Do from the, uh, the the tune from Fantastic from the tune of Paisley. So there we are, wonderful the tune now. Ah, sorry, just a quick comfort break there. Just terrific heat with the lights in here tonight. Tremendous stuff. Cremola foam wasn't bad, Scotty at all. We used to get it from the store. Yes, the Cremola foam, a wee spoonful of that, and shh, you had to drink it down quite quick. It fizzed up. Uh, tremendous stuff. And farola. Do you remember the farola as well for the custard? Semolina. All that sort of stuff. Aye, but the brown ales brewed miles away, uh, Scotty. Uh, sadly, like many things now, absolutely. I can remember being in Sheffield and there was a very famous brewery in Sheffield. All you Sheffielders watching will know it well, you Yorkshire people. And um, they were taking it down. You know, they're taking down the brewery, these big breweries. Amazing. Who remembers ice cream with cream soda? Cream soda, that was another cracker, Harry Marshall. We loved that, Harry Marshall Sr., the cream soda. And uh, what you used to do, you put a couple of scoops of ice cream into the cream soda, and then you stir it up with a lime spoon in the cafe, and you sucked it up through a straw. Tremendous stuff. Scotty McClure should present BBC Radio Scotland's Take the Floor, says Laird George Russell McFarlane. I would be able to do that standing on my head, but of course I'd be following in very distinguished footsteps. So there we are with uh, with Robbie. 
Rubby, there we go, and take the floor. Fantastic stuff. Uh, well, I did do the Clyde Cayley on Radio Clyde for years, so we've got that one, we've got the background there, and of course, my knowledge of traditional Scottish music, second to none. Try me. There we are. I loved an ice drink, says Christine McDougall. Uh, Christine Dougal, I beg your pardon, I shoved a Mac in there, Christine. I do apologise. Christine Dougal, and uh, she loved an ice drink. Two lovely kisses. Mm -hmm. Um, are you no longer based in Sheffield, Scotty, says Richard Seabar. Not, uh, not any longer. I was twice in Sheffield and had the time of my life in Yorkshire. Loved, 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 loved it. Terrific stuff. So there we are. Twice I was down in Sheffield at Hallam FM and then Magic AM uh, a year or two later. So there we are. I'm not in Sheffield at the moment and I'm not in Manchester. You can't beat the rice pudding. Cola Pop, says Chick McDonald. Absolutely, the Cola Pop. We love that. We absolutely loved it. Cola ice cream floats at the Wimpy Bar. Had one in Whitechapel over Christmas. Yes, Wimpies. What a superb thing that was when that came in. Just going in and getting yourself a hamburger and what have you. So there we are. Wonderful. Alex Steemonen, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Who wrote and performed the wee Cooper Fee Fife, says God. Uh, several people did, but um, Kenneth McKellar was very good at that. One of my great, great, great favourites, of course. Absolutely loved Kenneth McKellar. Tremendous stuff. Paul Wurzel Hughes, dinky do to you. You can't beat. Uh, who have we got? Gregor, UW Baird is here. So the wee Cooper of Fife, there was a wee Cooper who lived in Fife. Nickety nackety no no no. He has got a gentle wife. Hey, willy wackety who don't do a link with a shiru ru ru. And where people were doing. All the different stores that you used to get. Yes, you got Smiths of this and that of Kilmarnock. And the people saying, don't forget Coopers of Fife. And everyone went, oh, Coopers of Fife, yes. <laughs> because they didn't realise they'd been cut out. Sing it. <coughs> Just sing it for you, Gordon Crean. Uh, you can't beat the jubblies, says uh, Steve Barrow. Oh, lovely jubblies, I see. Gordon Crean, yay. Absolutely. So the Cooper of Fife. How did it finish up? Um, uh, she wad me wash, she wad me spin, nickety nackety no no no, for want to know a golden ring. Hey, willy wallaki hoo, John Dougalla, lame, go rush de roo roo roo. See if I can get you on the squeeze box for you. Fantastic stuff. Now, we're coming up to another share soon, guys. So, oops, pardon me. We'll see if we can get you the Cooper of Fife. <laughs> There we go, something like that. There we go. I'm not going to because it needs to be fast. And uh, as you know, McClure's not terribly good going fast on the button key melodeon. A bit faster on the uh, piano accordion, of course, but the button key melodeon. So there we go. I was disappointed in thinking about last week, Scotty. Nobody to replace Fran and Anna. We loved Fran and Anna on Thing Me Jig. Thing Me Jig used to get some great acts. It was wonderful. And I remember Jack McLaughlin saying, There's two gentlemen coming on to. Uh, Sing a wee song about golf, although neither of them plays, and that includes the piano. <laughs> All that good of stuff, wonderful. Uh, love it, love it, love it. Uh, Scottish Hogmanay is not the same as the old days, says Lord George Russell McFarlane. No, no, but what they used to do, they um, gathered at the toll booth, and you can still see on YouTube the very early Scottish television Hogmanays. And then, of course, let's not underplay Scotty McClue's Hogmanay bash on the radio over the years. If you've heard one of these, you'll know all about it. And they were down in Manchester and the Midlands and uh, Yorkshire and the North East, uh, fantastic, and uh, the North West, Manchester, Liverpool, terrific stuff. How is Scotty Shand, says Stephen William of Jimmy Shand. You know, Jimmy Shand, I suspect, was the greatest selling artist of all time. Now, there you go. So, if you think that you've got pop stars and rock stars, Jimmy Shan's your man. Uh, trust me. Loving this. Just like the old times, says David Moore Morris. And uh, a big shout out, Scotty, to my mate, Graham. He's, at the, he's on the Stella tonight. So, there you go. Well, we don't need to know about his private life. And um, Dave. Fantastic. Yes, absolutely. Now, God and Crudenair, fit like laddie. 
And is the Queen fair enjoying herself? Because there's a good kind of folk watching the Facebook Connect, eh? Fit a bird, that. Fit like a Facebook. Uh, you can't beat the semolina. This is Carol Carlos Dudley. Yes, absolutely. We enjoyed the semolina. Now, guys, I think that shave's coming out. I haven't had a call. Anybody want to call me or attempt to call me? I'll just move this to the side. Anybody want to attempt to call me on Messenger? Oh, whoops, cameraman tripped there. Cameraman slipped. Uh, does anybody want to give me a wee call on Messenger? I'm just working away here, guys. Work with me. Work with me. And we'll see what we can do here. And we'll see if it's possible to take a call on Messenger. So if you're watching and you want to try it, Madonna, says David Mo Morris. Absolutely. Uh, you should make Scotty McClure merchandise, mugs, help fund your wee page, says Laird George Russell McFarlane. Would you buy a Dinky Doo mug from Scotty McClure? Uh, you were talking Gaelic there, Scotty. Ah, Coachin. Sure, sure, Scotty McClure. Ah, Scotty McClure. Absolutely. So there you are. Kamraha u hakama. So there. Falchi, Falchi. Kidamili Falchi don. Scotch Macklew. I guess. Facebook. There you are. Skull, Carol Scattergood. Yes, yes, absolutely. A lovely statue to Jimmy Shand in Ochtern Machti. A lovely statue to the late great Jimmy Shand in Ochtern Machti. A fine man. Jimmy Shand Jr. Of course, his son, um, he was a big, big box player, or is a big, big box player as well. And um, tremendous stuff. So there you go. Uh, so uh, it's great. The Shan tradition goes on, I say. Now then, I'm actually going to share this myself. So there we go. And there we are. We'll just do that. Somebody said, Scotty, why do you like your own stuff on Facebook? I said, because there wasn't a love button. And we used to just like it. But now, of course... And there we are. I'm just sharing it myself, guys. So you should get a share, and uh, we'll share to a group. So there we go. Just doing that fantastic stuff. Is that somebody calling me on Messenger? Aha! Uh -huh. Let's see if we can get you. Wonder. Oh, try again. Jim Stephen Gibb. Let's see if we can get you. I've missed a call. Um, so let's see if I can return that call to you, Jim. And we'll see if we can hear it right. So you should get a call from Scotty McClure here, Jim. And uh, if you don't mind answering that, and we'll see what's what. Chick McDonald's watching, we can't make the call. Oh my goodness me. Can I make the call? Restart the browser, close other applications. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, I shall just post that. There we go. That's everybody listening. Uh, try again, Jim Stephen, and we'll see if we can get you on. It would be terrific. Uh, but I'm not sure if we can get everybody hearing, but we'll try it. It's well worth trying. You've got to try these things, because this could be the start of the phone in. There's times when you're talking, you can hear similar tones and accents to Geordie accents, says Steve Wimmer. Well, I do talk a bit of Geordie, Stephen, as you well know. Uh, what about um, Windy Wilson's weather, good or not? A long-range weather forecast. My friend Lucy May has sent you a friend request, Scotty. She also remembers you from your days on the air in Sheffield. She's trying to join in with the stream. Would it help if you added her? It probably would, so we'll see if we can add her. Um, we shall do that. Um, in fact, I don't know if I can do that just now. Uh, give you a Nacho Novo shout-out to uh, somebody who took a heart attack playing for Rangers last night, says Daniel Jose. Yes, of course we're going to have a shout-out. Tizer, says Chick McDonald. Absolutely, you're advertising there, Chick, but yes. We enjoy the Tizer. Fantastic stuff. Right. Um, have I shared this? Did this actually share? I ask you. Share to a page. Uh, we're watching Scotty McClure. We should be doing this. The Wizard of the Big Switchboard. If the Wizard of the Big Switchboard was here, they could be sharing all the time. Guys, do you know this is show number? Oh, -ho! here we go. Right. Hello. Hello. Is that Jim Stephen Gibb? This is great. This is loading up, guys. Just stick with us, Jim, Stephen, Gibb. Stay on. Hello. Right, we're ready to call you. Start the call. Hello. Hello, Jim. Hello, Jim. Ah, there he is. Hello, Jim. How you, how you doing, Jim? Are you all right? I'm doing something strange. Now, can you hear me? I can hear you. What to do, Jim, is if you can turn down... 
You're speaking a wee bit because I think we're getting a bit of feedback there. Right, it's Jim. It's Jim. Right. Now, let's let's have you talking, Jim. How are you doing tonight? Yes, I'm doing fine. Are you enjoying are you enjoying the program? Oh, I always do, Scott. Fantastic stuff. Now this could be the start of something very exciting, Jim. Yeah, I I I it's good to to hear the two thousand and eighteen so things need to move on to here. Yes, so a happy new year to you, Jim, and thanks very much for all your support and all your encouragement. Uh, thanks very much, Scotty. I'd like a wee tune before you go tonight. A wee tune. We'll try and get you a wee tune, Jim, and uh, thanks so much for coming on because you've conducted a wonderful experiment. Hey, thank you. Hey, dink, man. Dinky-doo. Cheers, Cheers to Jim. <laughs> There you are. What a great guy. Now, that is fantastic, folks. So there we go. That was a call on Messenger, Facebook Messenger. Now, this could mean, this is the start of something very, very big, because this could mean we could get a phone-in going. The only thing is we need to trust people to watch their gulp, right? No second names and things like that. No names of businesses, no knocking stuff, no slagging stuff. All that sort of stuff, and of course, no uh, potty mouth language. Scotty, a shout out to Big Dave. She just has to go to his page and follow him, says Angie Thompson. No bad language, or Scotty will ban you. Used to love that, Scott FM. The young team became lippy, and you just cut them off, says Laird George Russell McFarland. We did, Laird George Russell McFarland. We just chopped them off. So there we are, and away they went. That worked okay, Scotty. Could you all hear that at home, guys? If you could type me a wee yes. Uh, Makir Pevrel is watching. Hello, Makir. Ciao, man. You're a hero, says David Phillip. Ciao to you, David Phillip. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on Facebook Live, the world's top talk show. This is the big one, the one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about. Television cannot bring you this. Television will never be the same again. Carol Scattergood, yes, we could hear that. Yes, says Mark Simpson. Yes, says Leah George Rossi. Yes, says Angie. Yes, Frank. God and Cruden, a bit blurry. Scotty, can I call in, please, says Daniel Jose. Well, yes, as long as you behave yourself, Daniel. You know, you'll need to be polite, but do call me on Messenger. If you've got Scotty McClue on Messenger, do do it, because this could be the start of something very, very, very big indeed. This means we can all connect right round the world. Should I do a Skype group call? Um, no, I've not got my Skype in. Audio not great from the phone in, says David. Um, not really, couldn't really hear it, says Steve Burrows. Fair enough, Steve. Thanks for that, but we're getting there. This is just the best thing, says David Phillip. Are you enjoying it, David? Cheers, everybody. Seize the day. You'll be seeing that backwards, but that says seize the day. It's a quote from Horace, and it means carpe diem, seize the day. Mm. In other words, don't waste a second of your wonderful lives. First time caller, do I get a prize, Scotty? So Jim Stephen Gibb, you do indeed, Jim Stephen Gibb. You get a huge prize. Uh, you get a tune on Scotty McClue's Button Key Melodian. Hi, Scotty. Remember your phone is back in the day. Highly entertaining. You know me well, says Daniel. Danny, why don't you call me? Of course I know you well. So there you are. That is not a problem. Um, so, yes, call me now on Messenger. If you've got Messenger and you can see Scotty McClue on Messenger, call us, Danny, and we will chit-chat. Love your Latin, says David Phillip. Ah, yes, Latin. You speak Latin as well, right? What have you got? You've got DVDs in the house. Before that, you had a video. Video is video, I see. So you speak Latin as well. Not a problem. And you've got my modus operandi. Uh, fantastic. Brilliant. Family in Bells Hill. Debs and Davy Crombie. Thank you, do, Debs and Davy. Lovely to have you with us. All right, Scotty. It's Graham for Coat Bridge and the Stella. Shout out to my mate, Davy Mortimer. A shout out. So there we go. And uh, this is the best thing since sliced toast. There we go. Have we got uh, a call here? Come on, Danny. <coughs> oh, dear. Sorry about that. We touched on the luggage last week. I do apologise. Um, all right, Scotty. Uh, I'll be getting my mic set up, says David Phillip. Messenger. Uh, a group call, says Carol Carlos Donnelly. Well, we could do, yes. I mean, call Scotty McClue now. 
Mr. Shout out from my big brother Nelly and Bonemouth. But anyhow, cheers, Scotty Dinky Doo, says Paddy O'Gormley. Not at all, we can do a big shout out for your brother Nelly. Nelly, where did I get that from? Nelly, I do apologise. <laughs> so there you go. Not on your Nelly. Yes, of course you can. So a massive shout out for Nelly in Bournemouth. Um, anybody else care to give me a call on the messenger? Danny, if you're watching, give us a call. We'll see if you can get Scotty McClure and messenger. Simon Tate's watching one of the country's top broadcasters. Dinky do to you, sir. I say, and lovely to have you with us. And uh, what a fantastic programme tonight, guys. But this could be a massive breakthrough. If we can get the phone calls going on the programme, then we are big time, I'll tell you. Liv Thorne's watching. Lovely to have you with us, Liv. Uh, message a group call. A group, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Yes, absolutely. Come and join us. Let's try it. Try all these things. Because you remember, although Scott McClure's always been ahead of his time, big style, try these things. So there you are. There's Gordon saying dinky do on the messenger. And he's waving at us. So we'll wave back to him. Wave! And give you a big thumbs up. Fantastic stuff. There you go, folks. Sorry to move you around. Uh, but you're back with me. And that's what matters. This is terrific. Listening on the radio and seeing you in person. Uh, it's the future, says David Philip. It is David. Yes, absolutely. David Philp. Sorry, Philp. I was calling you Philip there, but it's Philp. Tremendous stuff. Lovely to have you with us, David. And thank you. Dinky do, I see. Right, who would like to try the messenger? So, Danny, if you're still watching, let's hear from you. That would be terrific. And um, another great show, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Yes, a fantastic show tonight. Absolutely outstanding. Thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of you. Because you make the show. Julianne Scott Dinky Doo, fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. Who's giving us a call to finish up with? Come on, get on there. Here we go. Let's see. Here's Gordon phoning. Ah, keep going, Gordon. Right, answer. Fantastic. Now, let's see if this works, guys. If this works, we are absolutely laughing. It's loading up, Gordon, so just stick with us. You're coming on there. I think probably the computer I've got here. Here he is. Excellent. Hello, Gordon. Hello, Gordon. Dinky do. Oh, dinky do. This is fantastic. Fit like a night. Fit like a night. Fits happening <laughs> up at the brook. Man, you let me wild. You can't kind of put your. Oh, you can't kind of put your nose at the door in there. Yeah. Oh, you'll get it bitten up <laughs> with one wind. Oh, the wee cup of fee fee. Oh, the wee cup of fee fee, I'll tell you. Nickety knockety, no, no, no. Nickety knockety, no, no, no. Is that not fantastic, Gordon? No. Absolutely brilliant. Can everybody hear Gordon? Do let us know. They're all they're all on here. We've got a massive audience here, Gordon. Oh, it's blowing big. This is great. We're, now you see, I think we're, of the airwaves. no, we're on the verge of something massive, Gordon. Oh, Can I that, say that there that, without that? that being, yes, there we go. We'll right. have a billion viewers in a minute. A billion viewers around the globe. Yeah. Well, you see, great. I think if we can get people calling in, yes, everybody can hear that. That's fantastic. Now I've got my little yeah. mic. So I can stick that up there. How's that, folks? Is that good stuff? Talk away to us, Gordon. Yeah, I can, I can hear you good. It's, it's sounding good. I can't see any pictures, though, from on the messenger. No pictures on the messenger. Well, there's, no, there's, no. there's a wee bonus for you. <laughs> 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 and do you think of uh, a good Do you know think of a good kind of folk watching? <laughs> oh, the kind of folk. I'm, I'm only about 40 or something, is it? Well, no, that's fitted size, but you've had to the top about 60,000 saw my antics over the uh, new year. 60, that's 60, a lot of royalties. Yep, if you look, you'll see... You'll get a new bonnet, you all that royalty. I'll get a new bonnet to it. You, uh, you look <laughs> and you'll see... Uh, I'll hate to come up to the northeast to buy it, mind. That's the only all place right. you can bargain for a bonnet. Oh, you it's a wee a bit dear. Do you, could you do it a wee bit cheaper? <laughs> You'll get it for nothing up here. That's wonderful. I'll maybe get a present of it because the Aberdonians have got great hearts. Yeah, we'll get you up in a bank and you'll get a free bonnet. That's right, open the bank. <laughs> <laughs> you managed to cut the ribbon. <laughs> That's right. Once you've cut the ribbon in the lobby, no, I wouldn't go today in case they're wanting money out of that bank. 
Minty, <laughs> fantastic stuff. That is absolutely brilliant. Thanks, Gordon. Yeah. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you and to yeah, your good lady. For two, Aye, and the same to yourself, my boy. Thank you, sir. I think people are saying, is that Hector Brocklebank for HP Brocklebank, aye. <laughs> Oh, a bit of fash there. <laughs> ten ton of fash here. Ten ton of haddock and ten ton of cud. <laughs> ten ton of haddock and ten ton of fightings. <laughs> you take care of yourself and dink okay, you see do. you. See you. Thanks, Gordon. Your fash is coming. Your fash oh, is coming. Good away. for the dinner fash yourself. <laughs> <laughs> see you, Gordon. Fantastic. Now, there you go, guys. Do you think we've got something? Please don't stick it there. Says loud and clear. Says Jim Stephen Give Fantastic. That's Hector Rocklebuck. Yes. Uh, Carl Scattergood's watching. Dinky do. Peter Reed. Free Peter Reed. Says Mark Thompson. Wonderful stuff. Now, guys, we must be just about out of time. But that's tremendous. We've had a couple of calls tonight. And uh, that all seemed to go rather well. Wonderful. Harry Marshall Senior, so there you go. Uh, Volvo for sales, Laird George Russell McFarlane, absolutely, to make up the numbers in the newspaper advertising. <laughs> Peter Reed, free Peter Reed is dead. Volvo for sale. Uh, Scotty, where have you been, says Derek Finlay. Dinky do, that's a lot better, says Steve Burroughs. Yes. Uh, what's your broadcast times? Nine o'clock sharp, David. Uh, until 10 o'clock, so we're finishing now. We used to do 10 till 11, but people had their work to go to on a Monday morning, and with the austerity, of course, everybody's got to get up early and work away like slaves in austerity Britain. So there you go, but fantastic stuff. Uh, so there you go. Do you want one more call, Scotty? Says Daniel. Yes, go on, Danny. Give us a call. It'd be lovely to hear you. And uh, a dinky do, I say. So there we go. So give us just... Last call of the night, Danny. That would be tremendous. There we go. I'll just wave at a couple of people that are waving. And uh, dinky do fantastic stuff. Wonderful. Right. So give us a call, Danny. Get onto your messenger and let's hear from you. That would be absolutely tremendous. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClure, the World Stop Broadcaster. And we are live dinky do big style. Uh, absolutely amazing. So, uh, to buy it, mine. Carl Carl is on a bonus. You can bargain for a bonus. Oh, it's only a bit of beer. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, what are we getting here? <laughs> so there was somebody who missed a click. It's wonderful. I'll maybe get a pet. Now, right. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll share that. Share yeah. that. Share that. Share that. Tremendous stuff. I think I was uh, I was getting my own back there, if you'll pardon the expression. Right. Let's just see what's happened here. What is going on? Um, so we have to... We're sharing that to the public. Good. So that's going out to you lot. So I'm just sharing right now as we speak, and then we'll finish up for the evening. I was hoping to get a call from Danny, but I don't see it ringing at the moment. So there we go. Anyway, right. We'll put that back. Okay. I'll have to go. I'll see you all next week at the same time. Make sure you are live on Scotty McClure, 9 o'clock sharp, Sunday nights, 9 until 10. Until next week, have a fabulous week. Have a happy new year, everybody. Take great care of yourselves. Look after your dear selves. And um, around the globe, send the message out that McClure is there saying dinky-do to every single one of you. Tremendous stuff. Danny says, it just says, leave a message. Shout out to Bonnie Bridge Banter. Shared our page tonight. Fantastic. This is so good. Robert Devlin, love to hear you. Sorry, had to get to the phone, says Robert Devlin. No problem. Kirsty Diggle, good night. Good night, my darling. And a big hug and a kiss to you. This is Scotty McClure. I'm going to sing the song. <clears throat> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, a waiter, then, au revoir, and a cheerio. Do you know, my darlings, and as we say in the best of circles, dinky-doo, Scotty McClure has left the building.